Hello there, Richard Hurstwood, Hurstwood Training. This is a shortened version of a video all about iPad cases that could be useful in special ed. Uh, I put this video out as a course note, or some of the course notes, on the iPads in special education courses. Stick with it because there's a great idea at the end of this. So let's have a look at this one first of all, aptly named the Ballistic T3 Tough Jacket Case for iPad 2. <laughs> I think the name kind of says it all. Uh, I've not seen this one in the flesh, but it does look pretty tough. It looks like one of those that is made to be knocked around quite a bit, and uh, yeah, it's got a stand as well, which I think that can be quite handy for lots of us. Uh, the price of £45.40 £40 from Amazon.co.uk. That seems pretty good to me. The next one is the, uh, the Otterbox Utility Series Latch Case. I quite like this because there's a lot of different options for it. It's a case, but also it's a mounting system. Uh, how well it protects? Well, it should be pretty good, but you can hang it from things. You can put it on your car headrest. You can get it into the palm of your hand, which is really handy. You can even use it as a necklace. That's fantastic. The Otterbox, and at 23 quid, well, £23, 29p, that's not bad at all. Here's one I do like. This is Big Grips Frame. This is one that would be quite nice for schools because it looks like it's designed for children. Uh, this one comes out in very bold brush colours. It's made of foam. It is very, very easy. And it really does look like something that's designed for children, which I think, yeah, that could be quite nice in an appropriate situation. So, Big Grips Frame. I found this... At inclusive technology and they were charging I think it was under 30 pounds and that's available at the back end of January uh, so that should be available now a great iPad case worth considering is eyeballs a fascinating little advertising video for this lady leaves an iPad on the roof of a car and lo and behold oh it falls off now, what you're looking for now is a cut in the film to see if they replace the iPad, but actually, uh, I don't think they did. And look, let's see if it works after a fall like that. There you go. Uh, I have to say, that video actually convinced me to buy a set of eyeballs. I did. And it's absolutely fantastic. So there it is. That's the eyeballs, which I think is really interesting. That's available from Amazon, £20.45. pence. So that's great. There's only one thing about all of this. this. These cases can be quite expensive, especially if you've got five or ten iPads in the school. It's going to uh, cost you quite a lot of money to get them rigged up. However, they are probably worth worth it but um, hold on a minute it's a cheaper idea that I filmed a few weeks ago when working with additional needs if the iPad does have a problem it's it's made of glass and that means it's extremely flimsy lots of people are looking for really tough cases and things like that but if you haven't managed to get one yet here's a little idea your iPad came in a tremendous box that box travelled thousands of miles in the air, across oceans, across land. It might have made it to an Apple store. It might have been dumped through your letterbox. Wait a minute. This box was designed to be tough. This could be the answer. Right, so first of all, let's take the insert of the box, throw that away, we don't need that. What we're going to do is just cut this edge down to make sure it sits a bit lower. So, here we go. Now, no doubt you could have made a much nicer job of this by marking it all off first, but I couldn't be bothered with that. Okay, what you need to do now is cut some thin strips of foam like this. This is going to slot down the edge of the box to give the iPad a little bit of sideways protection. There you go, there's the insert in, our foam edges going in to give it a bit of sideways, so looking very professional. <laughs> this really does work, honestly. And onto one of my favourite bits, we need some Velcro. <laughs> Fantastic. Just cut about three inches off. Okay, so you get your Velcro strips and stick them into our 
cut down back from the box there you go just peel the top one off that's the hook and loop together by the way uh, they're both stuck together so what we'll do now is get our iPad and we should be able to just press that firmly into place you could put more velcro in if you if you really want to because it does of course just rip out it's not so bad at all so there you go remember don't push too hard because this thing is glass Ooh. So there it is, the finished item, and whoop, there it goes! Oh no! The question is, did it survive? Ha! Look, no problem at all. See, I told you to work. It's brilliant. So there you go, your very own homemade iPad survival pack. Ah, it doesn't look as good as the bought ones, but hey, it was cheap. And lastly, a variation on that theme. Take a piece of foam, take the bottom, not the lid this time, take the bottom, put the foam into the uh, into the box. There we go. Previously cut to size. Uh, Yahoo! Velcro! Oh yes, there you go. There's my Velcro tabs put onto the back of my, uh, my iPad. Just peel those off there. And then we could stick the iPad to the foam. Uh, gotta be honest, uh, the Velcro didn't stick to the foam that well, but nevertheless, this kind of worked again, and it looked a lot neater, to be honest. Look at that. Not only does this one look neater, uh, it also works really well. Just flick this on, and it's a nice, nice enclosed sort of space. If somebody's got fairly limited movement, it gives them some tactile ideas. Whoa, and there it goes! Did it survive? Let's find out. There you go. And <laughs> it worked fine. Now, critics could say that it's actually falling onto carpet, so it probably would survive anyway. But here's an idea. If you're working with somebody with additional needs, do the box trick, but also get a rug, get a nice thick carpet just underneath you, just in case, and that'll really help. And it may be even cheaper than a big, thick iPad case. <laughs>